In this uh, video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this mosaic box pattern that you see here for, uh, for any image that you have in Photoshop. And here we go. So this is the uh, original image uh, that we're going to start with. This is an image I took uh, while I was on vacation in eastern uh, Quebec in Canada. And the first thing that we need to do is define the pattern, uh, the brush pattern that we're going to use. So first step, I'm going to create a new document, File, New. And I'm going to make it 60 by 60 pixels. I'm going to make sure that the background content uh, is transparent and click OK. And I'm just going to click Control Plus to zoom in here. And I'm going to click on B. And we'll select the pencil tool. You can uh, hold down Shift and press B to cycle between the various tools available. Or you can just click here and make sure you have pencil tool. And I'm going to set the width of the brush to 2 pixels in size and to make sure that white is the foreground color you can press D to um, reset the colors and then press X to make white the foreground color and I'm going to start off by holding down shift and I'm just going to position my pencil at the edge and I'm going to go down and create a 2 pixel wide line like so and I'll do the same thing horizontally on top oops control Z there we go next we're going to define this as a pattern edit define pattern and we'll just call this guy uh, box pattern click OK and we can just uh, close this guy out go back to the original image and click on create a new layer Next, I'm going to hold on, uh, click on G for the paint bucket tool, and I'm just going to change this selection to pattern. And I make sure that the pattern that we created is selected. And I'm simply going to click once, and Photoshop will input the pattern that we created previously, like so. Okay, so next, what you want to do is want to crop this image. And I'm going to make a pretty tight crop. And let's see about that that zoom in here okay and the idea of this crop is to make sure that the uh, we crop right at the white border because we want the final image to have a white border all along so I'm going to zoom in pretty closely here to do this I'm going to hold down the spacebar and press to pan and zoom or to pan rather Okay, I'm just going to crop like this at the edge, like so. I'm going to go up and do the same thing. And about right there, the left side. And on the bottom, finally. And the bottom looks pretty good to me. Control 0 and Control minus. And this looks pretty good. Let's just press enter to crop this and perfect. So you, wait, you can see what we did was we made sure that the, uh, there was a white border all along the edges here, the four edges. So far so good. I'm just going to rename this layer, oops, rename this layer box pattern and we'll create another layer and we'll just call this guy white fade effect and I'm going to go back and highlight the box pattern layer, the second layer and I'm going to click on W for the magic wand tool otherwise you can select it from uh, the toolbox and what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, various boxes and this is really a trial and error uh, method but you can, uh, you can always change your mind afterwards and you select the individual boxes for our patterns so let's give it a go here, one, two Stick one here, one over here, and one like this, one like so, and maybe this guy over here. And when you think you've got it, we'll go to the white fade effect layer that we did, the last layer. And we'll, hold, we'll click on G for the paint bucket tool, and we'll just make sure that we change this from pattern to foreground. And once again, we want to make sure that the foreground is white. And we'll click. OK, 
Okay, great. Control D to deselect, and finally we'll just change the opacity. Let's just change it to uh, thirty percent. Well, this is a bit too light. Let's try fifty percent. It's looking not bad. Not bad at all. So you can stop here, or you can, as I said it er stated earlier, you can just change things up. So you can uh, W for the wand tool, magic wand tool, and let's say we want to remove this guy here. And we'll click backspace to remove it, control D to deselect, and maybe remove this guy here, it's a bit too much. Backspace, control D. And that's not bad. If you want to add some more, you can go back to the box pattern layer. W for the magic wand tool. And let's say we can let's say stick one over here. Uh, let's stick one over here and go back to the white fade effect layer control uh, press G rather to fill this up control D to deselect and let's um, W for the magic wand tool and last time remove this guy and backspace and control D okay I decided to make a few more changes but you get the idea it's pretty much uh, a trial and error process you can do as many boxes as you wish but I think this looks pretty pretty good on the conservative side and um, in a few minutes you can have a very, very attractive box pattern like this.